Yo, folks. Cole Simmons here. And just <laughs> looking at the Swag Media Day, it just had me with a question popping in my head. When you figure out that three of the starters from Jackson State aren't even playing. Number one defense in the country. Number one against, against the top 10 against the pass, top 10 against the run, top 10 in, in points allowed. And three of their starters aren't playing. They're rotating in bits and pieces, backups. Backups are dominating. You got Huggins, Wiggins, you got Herman Smith sightings and great and all these people. And the starters are not there. Now they got an extra week to get healthy. As Coach said in his meeting, you know, you're going to have true, the big D tackle, be ready. Shallow may be ready for Baton Cookman. Travis will definitely be ready when they play against Alabama AM. I think Coach had a little something against Alabama AM. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> he wants to make sure they play them fully stacked every time. But honestly, with all those players missing, and these are not small time players, these are big time players. With them missing and coming back, how good can that defense be? I mean, they're already one of the top defenses in the country, if not the top defense in the country. People. I don't think Coach Prime is going to wait until Alabama A&M to unleash the entire defense. Homecomers coming up. So you may want to show people in TIAA Bankfield in Jacksonville, Florida, because you're going to have NFL scouts there. But you didn't think that the Jacksonville Jaguars would have you play at their stadium? without having their entire scout department watching everybody on your roster? Come on, man. But you definitely are going to have the whole team on display by homecoming for your final stretch with your quote-unquote big games. So Campbell coming in, Southern coming in, going to TSU, Alabama A&M, and then, of course, Alcorn. You want everybody healthy for that final stretch, those final five games. Because those are the toughest on your schedule. No disrespect to FAM, TSU, Grambling, and Valley. But now that you have them ready, you give them time. Give them time to jail. You know, Campbell going to be tough. You should handle Campbell. Southern's proven they can't handle Texas Southern. They're not the real Southern in the swag. You can handle them. But when it comes down to those last three, Texas Southern has the second best quarterback in the swag. You want your entire secondary on notice. Alabama A&M, it's revenge game, right? Quincy Casey, the kid that everybody said was ran out of Jackson get to play against Jackson again. You want to emphasize that that game. And of course, Alcorn, Coach Prime, first visit to the reservation. If this defense comes back, like I said, they're already number one. If they come back and start gelling before the end of this season, this defense is going to be crazy. I mean, right now, after halftime, not many teams cross the 50. He talking about pieces, like a number one player in the country. You better buckle up. It's going to be fun to watch.
Coach Simmons.